Beneath the vast landscapes of Australia lies a resource with the potential to power entire nations, uranium. Australia holds nearly 28% of the world's uranium reserves, more than any other country. Yet, while its uranium fuels reactors across the globe, Australia itself does not use nuclear power. Why? Australia's uranium industry is a key player in the global energy market. The country exports uranium to over 40 nations, including the US, Canada and China, generating billions in revenue. However, these exports come with strict regulations. Australia only sells uranium to countries that adhere to nuclear non-proliferation agreements. This ensures it is used for civilian energy production, not weapons. Despite its vast uranium reserves, Australia has banned nuclear power since 1998. Public opposition, safety concerns and an abundance of coal, gas and renewable resources have kept nuclear energy off the table. Instead, the country has focused on wind, solar and battery storage to transition towards a clean energy future. But as global energy demands rise, nuclear power is making a comeback. France, Canada and China are expanding their nuclear fleets and Japan is restarting its reactors after years of shutdowns. With energy security becoming a bigger concern, uranium demand is increasing driving up prices and investment in nuclear technology. In Australia, the debate over nuclear energy is intensifying. With coal plants shutting down and power prices rising, some political leaders are calling for a reassessment of the nuclear ban. They argue that modern advancements, such as small modular reactors, SMRs, make nuclear power more viable and cost-effective. The government, however, remains committed to renewables stating that nuclear power is too slow and expensive compared to wind and solar. But as more countries turn to nuclear energy for a stable, low-carbon power source, could Australia be forced to rethink its position? For now, Australia remains an exporter, not a user of uranium. But as energy challenges mount, the country faces a choice. Continue relying solely on renewables or embrace nuclear as part of a diversified energy mix. What do you think? Should Australia lift the ban on nuclear energy? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insights into the future of energy.